What's going on, everybody? It's your for this AK hashtag Gains. Before I start this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can do with all motherfucking videos. Follow me on Instagram and I'm Fitness. Follow my band, Divide Dimension on Spotify. All that should be in the description box below. If you guys want to see the channel grow, give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow and it doesn't cost you guys a fucking penny. If you guys want to donate to the channel or buy some of our fitness merch or some Divide Dimension merch, that shit will also be in the description box below. I have an honest reviews video for you today. Pumpkin pie from Outright just came out. It's not even on Tiger Fitness's website. It's not even on Tiger Fitness's website, guys. So let's get a thumbnail. So this just came out. And you're probably wondering why the fuck is pumpkin pie getting released right now? And I actually am asking the same fucking question. I don't know. You would think he would have waited to launch this, you know, September, October, you know, fall season. Well, it's still fucking summer, but hey, he fucking released it and I'm, uh, I'm buying it and I'm trying it. You know what I'm saying? I bought this actually on vitamin shops website because vitamin shop actually has it and vitamin shop has it, but not tiger fitness. But the price point is $24.99 on Tiger Fitness website, and usually it's $24.99 on uh, Vitamin Shop's website. That's pretty much the going rate. So that's the buy, that's the that's the price point. If you're looking at the macros here, macros are 280 calories, 14 grams of fat, 3 grams of saturated fat, 21 carbs, 2 grams of fiber, 17 grams of sugar, and 18 grams of protein. The ingredients is pretty basic. Uh, it's not really loaded with much. Peanut butter right and then contains two percent of less than fully hydrogenated vegetable oils cotton seeds soybean rapeseed dextrose salt molasses monogalyserides honey whey protein isolate oat flour natural flavor and cinnamon so it's pretty basic and uh outright it says outright seasonal so maybe it is gonna be a seasonal flavor but uh let's go ahead and open it up look at it this thing is like super fucking soft I can just tell when I'm touching it. Oh my God, look at this. It's so fucking soft. Look at this, I'm barely even doing anything. Look at that. There's no pieces or anything. It's pretty much just straight. It looks like a straight up peanut butter pumpkin bar. So let's go ahead and do a taste test. Here we go. Mmm. So soft. So fucking soft. Look at that. Oh my God. It's so soft. Mm. All right, so this one, shout out to Adam. Main subscriber Adam uh, was talking about this flavor. Um, this is not my first time trying this bar, by the way. This is actually my second time. Um, <clears throat> we're, we we thought that it. Um, it's one of the first bars that really doesn't taste like a peanut butter bar. Like you could tell that fucker was peanut butter, but the pumpkin really fucking is apparent in that like pumpkin spice type of feel and taste is very apparent. I can still tell it's peanut butter based, but it doesn't taste like it's just a fucking peanut butter bar with pumpkin spice in it. It, it seems like it's very... It seems like it's actually the flavor that it says and not just straight up peanut butter, you know? Like, I'm a huge fan of obviously all the fucking outrights, but this is probably one of the ones that it literally is like, um, it's really what it says it is, you know? Like, it, it is peanut butter still, but you can tell that it's pumpkin pie for sure. Like, that pumpkin spice comes in pretty good. I personally like it. He thought it was a little bit too seasonally, uh, not seasonally, but too much, a little too spicy. I don't like spicy, like pumpkin pie type of shit. I like the middle, the middle-ish of the spice. 
when it comes to you know pumpkin pies. If it's super spicy, I end up I don't really even like it. To me, this one's like in the middle range. You know, it's not like barely in there, but it's not like super spicy where you're just kind of like off put. Like usually gingerbread shit has so much spice in it and I just don't fucking like it. Me personally, I think they, they actually killed this flavor. Like it literally tastes like a pumpkin pie. It tastes like a pumpkin pie with peanut butter. Like it's fucking really good. Um, as far as like, um, as far as like, so me, me and him also talked about the fact that they could have put like little crum like little crumbles of like graham cracker in there or something. And it would have been like a pumpkin pie with like graham cracker, but there's no inclusions in this one. It's literally just a straight up bar. I think the little bit of graham crackers, the little pieces of crumbs could have like totally set this thing off and made it a 10. Me personally, I think it's in the nine category as far as ratings. Um, as far as the ratings, I, I've been I've been trying to figure out what I want the, to make this. Um, I, I'm gonna settle with a nine point uh, nine point two five. It's very fucking good. Um, I think a ten. It would have been a ten if they would have put like little graham cracker pieces, little crumb pieces. It would give you that full pumpkin pie type of feel and taste, and give you a little bit more of an experience. Yeah, I think they really killed this flavor though. Still, even though it's you know it doesn't have any inclusions or anything, it's a solid fucking bar. If you don't like pumpkin pie, you probably won't like this. You 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 probably will think it's okay. I don't think you can not like this bar at all, by no means. But if you like hate pumpkin pie, there's a chance you still might like this just a little bit, because it still is peanut butter based. It just has a lot of pumpkin pie and pumpkin flavor to it. So that's my final thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys tried this flavor out, let me know what the fuck you think of it. And other than that, that's, that's me pretty much of this video. If you guys enjoyed it, thanks for the support. As always, let me know what you want to see next. And if you'd like to fucking bad, just subscribe, like, and comment below. Scroll down troll. I don't hate because of fucking so whoa. Don't forget to follow my social media. Instagram, Fitness, Facebook, I'm Fitness, Snapchat, I'm Fitness, Instagram, Abram and Fitness. All my social media will be in the description box below. If you guys want to see the channel grow, give the video a thumbs up. I really would appreciate it. It helps the channel grow and it doesn't cost you guys a fucking penny. And other than that, all that will be in the description. And I'll check you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.